It's been over a month since my last review, and I've been told by YouTube that if I don't make a new one, I'm going to be fired. So, against my will, I'm here to review another game, and this time, we're going to review Cubert for the NES. Anyone who's ever stepped foot into an arcade is no stranger to this game, and if you owned an Atari, odds are the game was once part of your collection. But I can't help but wonder, what the hell is a Cubert anyway? If we break down the very name itself, we're pretty much left with more questions than answers. It just boggles the mind. Now the objective in this game is to jump on all the squares once to turn them all the same color. And during your mission, you'll encounter all sorts of things that want nothing more to do than to wipe your ass out. Things like snakes, balls, and these upside down assholes who walk around on the wrong side of the cubes. Hey buddy, what the hell you think this is? An A-share painting? I don't think so. Now the controls in this game are very different from any other games out there, and they end up becoming a huge pain in the ass. If you press the down button, it doesn't just move you down, it moves you down into the left. And pressing right, moves you down into the right. Wow, talk about confusing. This game ends up requiring a fucking degree in Cubert physics just to master this shit. Half the time you'll end up forgetting what button to press, and you accidentally go leaping right out the side of the fucking board! Ugh. Especially when tons of enemies are closing in on you, and you start nervously jumping around to avoid them. Ah, shit! The enemies pretty much attack you from all sides, and if they manage to catch you, Cubert starts swearing worse than a video game reviewer. And who can blame him? The only thing you have to defend yourself from these guys are these discs located off to the side here. Jumping on these will return you to the top of the pyramid. Sometimes it'll also clear out the board of enemies. Other times, it does nothing at all. So, what good is an item that only works half the time? What a piece of shit! The outcome turns out to be just as random as the results in the game show. Press your luck. You just never knew it was gonna happen. Come on, big bucks, no whammies, big bucks, no whammies, stop! Ah! You lost big time! Kiss my ass, bitch! You are a loser! Now if you think that's the end of your troubles, then think again. Because later in the game, this jerk-off appears out of nowhere and hops around and doing all my hard work. Well, that's the last straw. Time to show these guys who's boss around here. My god, there's no end to this madness! And even if you reach the later stages, you then gotta jump on every square twice before advancing. So now I've gotta do twice the work? Well, the hell with that! I'm done with this review, and I'm ending this episode early. If YouTube doesn't like it, then too damn bad. I mean, what's the worst they would do to me anyway? Fire me? <laughs> yeah, right. I like to see him try. What the Bach. Welcome to the Irate Gamer Show, starring What the Bach. Lots of news in the gaming world today, and for all you Tomb Raiding fans, it seems Lara Croft was spotted yesterday and, surprisingly enough, took a page right out of the Lindsay Lohan book. After bar hopping for six straight hours, the big boo bimbo was spotted at 2 a.m. stumbling drunk downtown and shooting up street signs. The cops were called in to arrest her and proceeded to take away her guns. <laughs> Not those guns. It seems like ever since her movie and video game career went down the tube, she's become a regular Britney Spears. Fears. What's next? A shaved head? Being photographed with no panties? Ooh, I was just letting my tomb breathe. I like it when you raid my tomb. <laughs> also in news, you may remember that last year, football player Michael Vick was arrested on charges of illegal dogfighting. Well, it's now been confirmed he was also illegal Pokemon fighting. He denied it being interviewed by reporters, but kept saying it wasn't his fault. He was just trying to collect them all. And finally, the rich heiress Princess P was spotted shopping downtown, of course wearing that same frickin' dress she's been wearing for the past 20 years. Now, I've heard of having a favorite shirt that you can't throw away, but this is ridiculous. Get with the times, girlfriend. Pink Victorian dresses are out. What the fuck? So what's the deal with Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man? Are they, like, still together?